Welcome back. I'm Wyatt Goolsby in for Lauren Ashburn. Pope Francis once again challenges Vatican officials not to be tempted by ambition and vanity. Mia Roma e come pulire la sfinge di Egitto. Francis has made it a tradition to give the Curia a tough love Christmas greeting. He invited the Vatican bureaucrats who helped govern the church to examine their consciences before the new year. The Pope did acknowledge the competent and even saintly people who work in the Holy See. Our Vatican correspondent Juliet Lindley caught up with the head of the Vatican press office, Greg Burke. He says the Holy Father was not reprimanding anyone, but asking his advisors to do better. Greg Burke, thank you so much for joining us as head of the Holy See press office. So tell me, how do you feel your boss treated you all today? Today was Christmas greetings, and I took them as that. Um, I thought he treated us pretty well. He surprised everyone a few years ago because the Christmas greetings came with a little bit of a... Um, let's say a, a strong encouragement to do things better. He talked about the sicknesses, you know, which can take over in a, in a, in a bureaucracy. And, but I thought today was much more positive, and, and it was actually, if you look at the beginning and the end, it was a call uh, to use Christmas to go deeper, to go deeper in your faith. Now, some say the yearly Christmas greeting is an annual reprimand. So which of the pontiff's words struck you most today? The line was the funny line. He said, reform in Rome is sort of like cleaning one of these great big Egyptian monuments, the Sphinx, uh, right next to the pyramids, with a toothbrush. Um, so that certainly made me laugh, and it, 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 it struck me. Let's look at that toothbrush and Sphinx analogy. Who is he blaming for this? I don't think he's blaming anyone. I think he's saying this is what the situation is. Okay, uh -huh. this is what the situation is. You're, if you have to change a culture, um, it doesn't happen overnight, and it's more than changing a structure. It's a, it's an internal, it's an internal thing. What we what has to change is we have to change. He talked about uh, conspiracies today, plots, let's say, and clicks. You know, he said this is not about uh, it's not about looking for power, uh, and that's been a constant theme. This is about 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 service. Now, it's funny because I think a lot of times people are shocked or surprised that the Pope would talk about these things. But if you go back to the Gospel, um, Christ says to the apostles, what, are, what were you talking about? And they're silent because, why were they silent? They were talking about who was the greatest, okay? And these were people living right next to Jesus Christ, all of whom became, died for the faith, essentially. Almost all of them died for the faith. Well, Fine, so they learn the lesson. The lesson can obviously be learned. Finally, the Holy Father spoke of how the Vatican should treat the outside world. What is it that he would really like to see? Respect for yourself and respect for the others. Christian unity is very hopeful on that. He says it's a mystery, you know, how we're gonna get over our differences, but let's move ahead. And I thought the whole diplomacy was interesting. He really gave sort of a pat on the back to the Vatican diplomatic corps and the hard work they do in building bridges in complicated times. And I think what the Pope wants there is what he calls the culture of encounter and dialogue. You know, our, our, our way forward is working together. It's not, it's not in, in clashing with others. Greg Burke, head of the Vatican Press Office, thank you so much for your time. Thanks.